Facts about the 625 War The 625 War began on June 25, 1950, at 4 a.m., when North Korean troops crossed the 38th parallel. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the 625 War. For those unfamiliar with the 625 War, this video will hopefully help you understand it better. Facts about the 625 War that you may or may not know. Facts about Korea will give you a three-minute summary. August 15, 1945. Korea attained liberation from Japanese rule. That day is called 815 Liberation Day. On 815 Liberation Day, Koreans hang the Korean flag on their doorposts. However, even after the glorious victory of winning back the country, Korea was never fully independent. It was because American troops remained on the south, and the Soviet Union remained on the north of the 38th parallel. August 15, 1948, South Korea established a government through an election, and North Korea established a separate government on September 9th. And so, South and North Korea were completely separated. June 25th, 1950, 4 a.m. Most people are in bed at this time. While everyone was asleep, North Korea invaded South Korea with tanks. After only three days of war, Seoul had fallen, and after two months, all except the Gyeongsang province had been overtaken. South Korea was at the brink of defeat when a dramatic reversal took place. Under the command of General MacArthur of the United Nations Command, the Battle of Incheon unfolds. An operation to raid Incheon and recapture Seoul. They entered Incheon in a day and finally reclaimed Seoul on September 28th. The tables had turned. Riding on the momentum, South Korea charged through Pyongyang the Amnok River, and up to the Tuman River. October 25, 1950. The Chinese army intervenes with their mass human wave attack and turns the tide of battle once again, forcing the Korean and UN troops to withdraw from Pyongyang and Hungnam. North Koreans and Seoul citizens also had to retreat. The Korean and UN troops reclaimed Seoul but the war continued to go on. July 1953. After a lengthy negotiation, the Korean Armistice Agreement was signed, and once again, Korea was divided. June 25, 2020. This year marks the 70th anniversary of the 625 war, Today, Korea is the only divided nation in the world. The 625 War Memorial Day is a day to remember the lessons and historical significances of the 625 War and show gratitude for the sacrifices and exploits of the war veterans. We hope that 2020 would be a year where you learn to understand the pain of war and be reminded of the preciousness of peace.